my name is Ethan Johnson and I'm doing my experiment on dry ice. Dry ice is made from solidified carbon dioxide. This is a carbon dioxide molecule. It has one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. The materials we are going to use are goggles, glove, a timer, tongs, paper, a scale, outdoor thermometer, test tubes, a scientific thermometer. The other things we need to use are boiling water, ice cold water, and of course dry ice. There's a little piece left in there at 30 minutes. The warm water melted in 34 minutes. Now that we're in 45 minutes in the experiment, we are going to see if dry ice or dry ice with cold water will sublimate from a solid to a gas first. I can see it's still sublimating. It's definitely outlasting the other methods of melting. It's currently down to 0.1 grams. Now we are going to start the second part of my experiment. Today we're going to test which of my four methods will make the air surrounding the dry ice the coldest. How this experiment is going to work, I am going to record the air temperature inside the box. Then I'm going to place the dry ice in the test tube. Then I'm going to seal up the box. Wait 10 minutes. Then open the box and check the new temperature inside the box. With just the dry ice, the temperature in the box is still 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature inside the test tube is negative 6 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to move on to dry ice with hot water. Really, it's still 74 degrees. The dry ice with hot water did lower the temperature. The temperature inside the test tube is negative 2 degrees Celsius. Now we are going to do dry ice with ice water. Open it. It is still 74 degrees Fahrenheit in the box. It's 0.2 degrees Celsius in the tube. Now we are going to do dry ice wrapped in paper. The temperature inside the box is still 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature inside the test tube is negative 2 degrees Celsius. None of our methods lower the temperature of the air in the box. Now we need to figure out to get the cold air into the box. Our theory is we need more dry ice and less time. Now we are going to fill up all four test tubes with dry ice and ice water. We also included a fan to blow the cold air around the box. We are setting our timer for three minutes. Three. All right, so we're gonna check the temperature really quick. The temperature is still 74 degrees. We checked the temperature at three minutes, now we are going to check the temperature at six minutes. We are down to 73 degrees in six minutes. We are about to check it at 10 minutes. We are still at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. 
I think we, what we need to do is get more dry ice and put in a bigger bowl instead of the test tubes. For these next tests, we are using dry ice with ice water and dry ice with boiling water in a glass cup, a glass bowl, test tubes, and a plastic bowl to see which method cools off the air inside the box the most. After the last test, we made some adjustments to the box. Yeah, it's making funny noise, isn't it? Yeah, it's like break the ice up.